we're going to discuss the transform palette in Adobe Illustrator CS6. We're still on page 54 in the activities book. So let's go and open up Illustrator. Now you can make some of the changes that you've just learned about using the shearing tool, reflecting tool, scaling tool by using the transform palette. If the transform palette is not visible, you can go to the menu bar and choose window transform. So window transform. That's this palette right here. Open up a file called building.jpg in your Illustrator folder. So file open. We're going to go to our four six weeks folder, unit one part three Illustrator. And there's a file called building. So click open. And you got a picture of a random building here. The book says to make the following changes. For a new horizontal orientation, Enter the value in the X text box on the transform palette. Let's uh, get the selection tool. Select the image. So you can press V as in Victor and click on the picture. We are going to enter a value in the X box in the transform palette. So I'm going to change this to 150 and hit return. Now if you don't like it, you can press undo. So this is just like a chart, X and Y location. What that did was, if you type 100, that put that on the 100 location. It uh, aligned it horizontally. Command Z to undo. Now for a new vertical, which is up and down instead of left and right, we're going to enter something in the Y location. So I'm going to type 25. It's going by the reference point. If the reference point is in the center, and I put 25, now the center is at 25 pixels. If I put the reference point at the top and type 25, the top is at 25 pixels down. So it goes by where your reference point is. To change the width, we can manually enter the value in the W text box. So we're going to change the width to 300. Hit return, and it widens it. For the height, you change the value in the H box. Change that to 200. And it shrinks it. For rotation changes, we're going to enter a value between 0 and 360 in the rotate text box. Change this to minus 30. And it rotates it. For shearing, we can enter a value in the shear text box. Experiment with a few different numbers and then decide on one. So So just play around with a few numbers. You can Command Z to undo if you don't like any of the settings. So play around with that a few times. That is how to use the transform palette in Adobe Illustrator. Now to reset the bounding box, you can choose Object, Transform, Reset Bounding Box. And the bounding box goes back to the way it usually was, but the shape stays the same. I'm going to show you again. See, the bounding box was here, and you can go Object, Transform, Reset, Bounding Box. And you got a normal shape bounding box again. So we're going to save this as Transform Example, File, Save As, put it in your uh, four, six weeks in your 1A last name Illustrator folder as Transform Example and click Save. And okay, and that is it. Thank you all for watching. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.